Dinga McGannon. I was born in Harlem. So, on 21st Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. My artistic career started at PS 157, which is now an artist building on 127th Street and St. Nicholas Avenue. We started out with drawing cartoons, like the Sunday paper. We would copy those, and from there I began to do my own stuff. I didn't like doing things the way that everybody else did them, so eventually I ended up doing more stuff on like pen and ink, then I went to tempera, and then oil. And then from that, I went on to doing murals. As years went on, I kept adding things because I'm fascinated by different media, and I also get bored very easily, so in order to keep myself interested in what I'm doing, I have to keep adding new stuff and keep playing around with new things because I don't want to do what I did yesterday. That's already done. I want to do different stuff. I just start with some materials and just let whatever voices or whatever energy is in the air kind of come through me, and it'll end up manifesting itself in a solid form like a painting or a quilt or a drawing. It just kind of morphs. Early in the 60s, Harlem was very active. In fact, where you see everybody began to dress Afrocentric. As artists, we called ourselves cultural warriors and in our art we would portray positive images of black people because most of the images were either non-existence or negative. We look very much to Africa for inspiration. A lot of people learn Swahili. We wanted to be definitely Afrocentric.